Hey there, Aquarius, it's Angie with Feisty Butterfly Tarot. Today we are looking at the Eight Coins Tattoo Tarot and we're gonna look at it in detail with the small deck. And we're gonna break out the big, big lessons deck and give that a shuffle and see what theme might be going on for you in the next coming week. These are tricky to shuffle. This is my home brew where I made the deck bigger so it would photograph better. So let's see. Ooh, okay. Thematically, pretty clear. The chariot. This is something that's saying you need to move forward. The time to move forward is here. It's right now this energy needs to be focused in order to get movement. There's two opposing energies that are going to be at play, and you need to really focus and regroup your power in order to move forward. That's what I would tell you. This is a time where momentum is picking up. So let's see what's going on. The recent past for Aquarius. That doesn't want to go, so we're going to take a look. Okay, this is almost more than I would normally take. This is going to be quite the read. Eight coins does this, though. Okay, so you have happy family and choices that have been made. We're going to scooch this over so you can see. This is how it comes out. In the recent past, you've got home front choices and the world at home or the world at work coming up against each other. This is how do you balance this and still keep happy family? There's been some harsh words, maybe miscommunication said, maybe some immaturity going on. Um, a little bit of an argument, wanting to go forward, not having the power that you want to wield something, to put something into movement yet. That's what's coming up. You have the Nine of Wands still standing strong, um, battle weary, but perhaps um, overly defensive. Maybe it's time to let the battle go. Maybe it's time to settle down a bit. Or maybe the battle was totally necessary, but things had to be blown to shit in the meantime. The tower comes and it's a little bit of uh, a shocker. It's surprising. Um, it causes a restructuring to happen. All the beautiful, pretty, foo-foo stuff is stripped down to the bones. The foundation has to be rebuilt up again, okay? And we have the Empress, this desire to create, this desire to nurture, this desire to reign and be in your realm as far as energetically. All right, so the past. Seems like there's some conflict on the home front. Perhaps too many irons in the fire. Maybe just flat out too much going on. And it's been a challenging time. So all of this feels very home driven in the past. Here's the chariot. It's calling you to move forward in the now. So let's see what's going on there. We're gonna shuffle up and we're gonna draw two cards, I think. I think. Two cards. All right, guys, look, look, a lot is coming at you. This is the Eight of Wands here. This means messages, information, a lot of fiery passion, a lot of energy moving um, forward, messages received, new messages being sent out, just a lot going on communication-wise. Um, this is often to do with work, and it can be overwhelming. So this has been what's been going on, and it seems like that pace is still going to be kept. Again, there's going to be sharp words and cuts and losses. This is asking you, especially after this one over here, this one is asking, hey, what battle can be avoided? How do you walk away? Or is it worth the victory? I mean, this is a hard one victory. If you're going to keep these three three swords and you losing some on the way, it might not turn out how you want. Be mindful of your communication. Be mindful of your words right now. It's like your higher self has a lot going on and coming at you, but your lower self is um, battling, just battling, when really that's going to get in your way as far as moving forward with momentum. Let's see what's coming on the future at you. For Aquarius, what's coming up in the future to help with momentum? Okay, let's take a look at these. We have the Ace of Cups in reverse and the star. All right. Ace of Cups is all about emotional um, overflowing, love, abundance, peace, happiness, harmony, all kinds of emotional good stuff and romantic good stuff too. In reverse, it's asking you to re-examine things a little more closely. Are you investing things emotionally? Over here, you've had all this work and head stuff. You're wanting the happy home, but you're 
letting your energy flow in the wrong direction. You're letting emotions swamp you. Somehow you're getting in the way of your own flow and it needs rerouted. But don't worry. Don't worry. Because the star is here too. And the star is all about the healing waters. Taking that minute to get aligned again. Taking the time to really look deep at what it is that you have for your heart's desire. And then moving forward. This is very much to do with wishes and wanting to move forward. And then with this following, amazing. So this might be a timing thing because you have the Nine of Cups here. This is also a wish card. This is when you've earned some satisfaction. This is a wish fulfilled. This is emotional contentment and joy and happiness. Very, very fulfilled. Then you have the strength card. Now, this is what's needed to drive this chariot forward, the momentum and the balance. It looks like you're coming to a time where you can do this. This is the gentle balance. This is balancing the infinite, balancing the energy of the inner world with that which needs to be done in the day in, day out type of thing. So we're going to take a look and see with the big brute deck again, shuffling. I know, quite crazy, but we're going to take a look at that again and see. What else you might need to know? Whoa, coming up. Oh, this half the deck is going. Let's go for the rest. See what's going on. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, these are so big in my hands. This is me, my home brood, makeshift, giant size eight coins, because I love that deck so much. Let's try shuffling with these. We're gonna scooch this towards the past, this towards the present, this towards the now. Let's take a peek at what's going on here. Let's we'll see if anything comes up for you. What do we got here? Looks like we've narrowed it down. Okay. What do we have? Who? Okay. Oh, look at this energy repeating here. Look, look. Okay. We have the King of Coins in reverse. Some kind of resources, money, planning, not happening. Not in the happiest of sp spots that way. Doesn't mean you're poor. It means there's something that's going to be unplanned or something that's being a little too tight. There's a cycle that needs to close out here. Some sort of cycle that needs to finish. A lot of this wands energy is still present. Still a lot's coming at you. Things aren't going to slow down. I think the realization that things come in cycles and the realization that the priorities need to shift is a big damn deal for you. You need to choose more wisely and balance more wisely in what you're doing. The moon always shows us cycles and change is the only constant in life. So that's the one thing you can count on. That's what asks you to dive into things, honor your own process, take your own time, resituate things, adjust what you need to. If this tower has come in and stripped things bare, and you're asked to use momentum, you're asked to use creativity. If you look just straight off of only the major arcana cards, this is what you're looking at. You're looking at the Empress and the Tower saying, be creative and nurturing even though everything's gone to shit. If you're looking here, right down the center, I feel like, the momentum and the cycles, be aware. Don't push overly hard, understand the cycles, and then you're able to move forward. Harness your will, harness your strength. You're looking over here. You have the star and the strength coming up. The star is all about moonlight, starlight cycles. That's all good wishes, but the strength needs to be there. The focus needs to be there. If this is something you've been avoiding looking at, maybe there's an area of your resources that you need to look a little more closely into and investigate, but this is the man that always asks for the plan and then is very, very supportive. It's being practical at this time. This is a requirement for you. It might not be the easiest for you, Aquarius, but this is what's required for you at this time. Don't let this wands energy disrupt you too much. Just understand that it's coming at you and it is creating something that is significant, valuable, and of a pattern for you, allowing things to blossom and grow. But you have to be able to navigate these many things, these many different kinds of passionate energies that are coming in towards you. So that is what I have for you today. Let me know how it resonates. Like, subscribe, tell a friend. Come see me again. Bye, guys.